It has been a long time since I got out with Russian speaking crowd. Almost half a year passed. I have been mainly focused on solo camping trips, reading books, listening to lectures, just diversifying my interests and knowledge, as well as trying to learn to create music on a mobile device, which apparently is quite possible these days. It's quite hard to do this while in the group of people, so solo trips are perfect for that, and I gotta have those too. Now the warm season is upon us, and it's time to get back into the crowd again. For some good times, by fire, out in beautiful and flourishing BC nature. I was last to arrive in the evening, and the three guys before me already prepared some good meals and chopped some wood. Shashlik it's called in Russian, and in English we call them shish kebabs. It is a staple camping food in Russian-speaking community, originating from the former southeastern republics of Soviet Union or previously Russian Empire regions. Some of these countries were independent before Russian Empire, and of course after Soviet Union collapse, every republic became its own nation. But Russian language still unites us, under the one umbrella, speaking the common language. This likely will slowly fade away in a few generations, and already is happening. Out here in the Canadian backcountry, there are no political divisions, so Russians and Ukrainians sit together under the stars, share a meal and sing songs together, as with many other countries from the Soviet bloc. So today is supposed to be a really big gathering of Russian speakers. This is our uh, the leader, Artyom. We were expecting quite a few more people, so the leader of the group, Artyom, was constantly on the radio, listening out for common people all day. Some early preparations were made, and the wood was stocked for the sauna, and the campfire ready for the party. So this is our sauna for today, in Russian. We call it Banya. This is a brand, actually, if you choose to buy. I think we're resellers here in Canada, but a bunch of people bring it from Russia. So we're not doing it just yet. I just wanted to show what it looks like. Because when it's at work, it's impossible to shoot anything here because a uh, lens fogs up right away. So uh, this is one of the bigger versions. Uh, big, like, like actual long pieces of wood fit here. Right, so you fill up with water here, it's, uh, it boils, right? that's what provides steam. And uh, this tent here is also on the bigger side. Uh, we have a smaller one, now I got a smaller, and uh, it's definitely smaller. This one, I think easily we can fit 10 people in here. We also got like, nice windows in here as well. All right, part of the cavalry is arriving. That's actually quite a bit, but that's not all of us. More people kept coming. Some were familiar faces to me. And quite a few people were new to the group. Because it has been such a long time, and some people I've only seen once before, some names are a bit hard to remember. I actually don't get out that often with the Russian-speaking community, because it is off-road focused. Oftentimes, weekend day trips are created to test the rigs in some muddy and tight spaces. My rig is heavy and built for long trips and comforts, not for constant off-road abuse or testing its abilities. I did enough of that in the past, uh, and that stage of novelty is gone. Frequent abuse results in frequent repairs, and with added weight to an overland rig, rock crawling is not a sound activity. 
Overland rig can do those things, but should be in moderation, otherwise you're gonna be working for the repairs, not for the long trips. And we have more people coming. I think we still expect uh, at least few more cars. Привет, привет, здорово. Женя, Леша, давай. Будем здравы, бояре. За праздник. Да? Ну, давай. 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 This Russian-speaking off-road VBC group is quite diverse in age, places of birth, favorite wilderness activities, and how people actually do camping outside of a group. It was interesting to discover that some people purposely pick up certain types of trees to reduce the toxicity of the smoke. My argument, when solo, I don't really care, because I can just make two steps away from smoke and that's it. But it does make sense for group camping which was very interesting to hear this new sort of discovery. We have hardcore hunters and fishermen who are just mild enthusiasts, avid mushroom pickers and hardcore off-road weekend warriors that put their rigs to the test almost on a weekly basis. We got great cooks, great family men, young brats, intellectuals, artists, programmers, lawyers, engineers, Quite a mix, all united with the same desire to be out there to explore. Breathe some fresh air, get a break from social norms or pressures at home, and just simply give themselves a good time. Uh, нужно разделять и властвовать. Если бухаем, значит бухаем. Если замедлили, значит замедлили. Вот. Причем, потому что на охоте я тоже так не люблю, когда О, давайте куропаточку пострелим, ну хоть бы чтобы на охоте, потому что они не знают, что будет дальше. Ну, да. ну а тут стрельнули, и все медведи там, и олени разбежались. It's always pleasant to see few kids running around in the bush. It is quite rare occurrence nowadays, as kids are glued to their iPads and social medias, barely getting out of their houses. It leaves hope still that enjoyment of wilderness will pass down still generations to come. And we're not all gonna be locked up in the world of Wally. -E. Here, okay. Can Trying to lift the log. Yeah. Okay. So, are you gonna try to chainsaw while it's lifting? Yeah. yeah. So we don't fuck up the chainsaw. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all oh good. Ah, uh, твой новый edition, да? Да, 350 баксов. Там насадки разные, подставки. Wood was getting low, and sauna is very hungry beast when it gets going. Some decided to haul some logs from another shore, providing quite a spectacle. So basically the log was on that side, it dragged it all the way here. Pretty cool. 
All right, it is finally time. It's probably been about six months, five months since I came out with people and sauna. And it's gonna be amazing. And this is actually supposed to be a traditional sauna head in Russia that uh, a friend of mine, Igor, gave me as a gift. Oh man, this was awesome. It's so hot in there right now. I forgot how awesome Bunny is at, in, at camping. <laughs> Gotta get out more often. But uh, it's not evening yet. You know, people still kind of dressed up. The more drinks gonna be happening, the more people are gonna be in that scene. And eventually there's gonna be like 10, 15 people <laughs> by the end of the night, you know, screaming, drinking, all that. How's it, guys? Nice. <laughs> Нормально. Все, можно обратно. А? Напился? Да, бля, влёг. Да, сучу. О, Евгений проснулся. kept coming through the day and new friends were made. Some people just recently joined the group. A bit of disco lighting always brightens up the ambience and sparks some dancing. Just not this time, as we didn't really have enough women to put things in motion. That's Да, наконец-то открываем сезон. Да, 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 точно. Скоро по грибы уже будем, да? Уже. Уже. Уже, уже да, еще пару лет уже, уже можно. Не, мы уже собирали. Я покажу тебе. У нас на районе. Да. Я буду сейчас фотки в Норфкове. Нет, а? Рукой просто рукой. Нет, а просто протереть, да. Заснять, Заснять вас просто. А, а мы попадем в видеоблог? А я тебе говорил, что... Somewhere between 20th and 50th drink, a little knife competition came about, testing the steel composition, smacking knives against each other to test the weaknesses. Of course, the Russian forged knife deep in Siberia by a famous forger won the day. It was good to meet up again and open up the warm season as one big family of like-minded people, anticipating another season of awesomeness.